Cerebral Corridor Creator. SYM Cerebral Corridor Creator. CCC is specially designed medical device for neurosurgeons. It provides a better way to access surgical targets in brain without unduly damaging surrounding tissues. CCC contains a CCC balloon, a syringe, and a tube with balloon inflated slowly and repetitively by syringe. A tubular corridor is created. The collateral trauma can be minimized and the tube can make the corridor stability and reliability, which can also protect surrounding tissues during the operation with the goal of establishing a working corridor in minor brain intervention. CCC can be widely used in neurosurgery such as hematoma, hydrocephalus, tumor, and other lesions, etc. Without damaging surrounding tissue unduly, CCC makes neurosurgery safer by decreasing iatrogenic injury to brain tissue and brain vessel. CCC avoids complications and accelerates post-operative recovery. Product Structure CCC Balloon Brain Tissue Retraction and Corridor Creating CCC Balloon consists of an inner tube, an outer tube, a rubber balloon, a three-way stopcock, and a connector. Syringe Inflating the balloon Tube Maintaining the corridor The recommended procedure is shown as following. 1. Preoperative Preparation Flushing Fully flush the balloon and tube with saline before using. Venting Balloon Connect the syringe and connector. Open the valve of connector. Inject saline into the balloon. Place the balloon in low position and inject saline slowly. Deflate after the balloon having been inflated. Repeat the cycle until air is exhausted entirely. Caution! If air is not expelled from the balloon lumen, the balloon may fail to inflate up to its specified diameter. If balloon ruptures, air explosion may result. To avoid this, discharge air from the balloon lumen completely. Stretching Balloon Push the inner tube forward until the pin of the inner tube is locked in the slot. By doing so, the balloon is stretched. Caution! Don't rotate inner tube during balloon stretching. That may cause balloon twisted. Connect balloon and syringe. Make sure the saline in the syringe not exceed 10 ml. Push the balloon into the brain tissue along the puncture site. Caution! The maximal capacity of balloon is 10 ml. To avoid damaging the balloon, make sure the saline in the syringe not exceed 10 ml. 2. Pushing balloon into the brain tissue. Three, inflating balloon. Inject saline into balloon. Inflate and deflate repeatedly and slowly. 
Be cautious during the process of inflation and deflation. If abnormal incident occurs, stop immediately and take remedial measures. 4. Setting tube into the tubular corridor. Place the tube on the distal part of balloon. Inflate the balloon, then push both tube and balloon slowly into the tubular corridor. Inflating and deflating the balloon appropriately would be helpful. 5. Withdrawing Deflate and withdraw balloon after tube reaches the predetermined position. Pull out tube slowly after the surgery is finished. 3. Warnings This product contains low-protein natural rubber latex, which may cause allergic reactions such as itching, redness, urticaria, swelling, fever, dyspnea, asthma-like symptoms, hypotension, shock, etc. If one or more of these symptoms are observed in the patient, stop procedure immediately and take appropriate treatment.